keep your eyes short. And we're live. Welcome back to part two of Tahiti Tuesdays, where we free roam with Arthur in Guarma. Arthur is still in chapter five. He has a couple more things to show you. I am your friendly neighbor, Super Antonio, and please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you want to enjoy seeing more of my Red Dead Redemption 2 content. Exploring as best we can, however, we are currently trapped in this valley. Note the map, that is a snake, it has to be. Arthur doesn't have any small game arrows, and he doesn't care. Whatever it is, he wants it. It's blasting time. Where did he go? And here is the Sun Glow Boa. Such colorful names in Guarma. No worries, that Sun Glow Boa is only sleeping. <clears throat> Let's get him to the sunlight and get a better look at him. I don't know much about snakes, but I thought boas were bigger than this. Arthur isn't complaining, however. He is certain the trapper will be very interested in this snake. Regrettably, we do not have a specific location for that snake, and I am absolutely certain this is a random spawn. We were approximately here, between the camp and the river, on the edge of the mission. That's the best Arthur can give you. Run around the jungle and watch out for Red, and good luck. Arthur is a mess right now. At the very least, Arthur is getting some cardio in. That has to count for something. We should grab some of these birds.
so pretty, another scarlet macaw. Guarma has to win the most colorful bird award. However, Arthur is happy John isn't here because Arthur is absolutely certain Marston would be terrified of all of these birds. What's that about? And this blue and yellow macaw is hiding under this rock. That is a good looking bird. Arthur and the blue and yellow macaw will take a moment to pose for the thumbnail and the Instagram. Link in the description if you'd like to follow. In addition to links for the merch store, my second channel, which features more podcast related content, and our Discord. I wonder if we can go behind the waterfall. Doesn't look like it. Is it at least giving us a wash? What do you suppose deluxe baths are like in Gorma? This looks like all we get. And there's Dutch, wondering what we are up to, losing patience. He'll be fine. And technically, we are doing him a favor. No spoilers, however, Dutch goes even more crazy during that mission that he is currently waiting for us to start. Let's move on. That is one spectacular looking waterfall. This would also look great on the Instagram. More cardio in the jungle. Reminds me of my favorite jungle action movie Predator from 1987 and the classic Arnold line, if it bleeds, we can kill it. Words Arthur lives by. really wish we could collect these pink plants. Such a pretty shade of pink. Fuchsia, I believe. Unsure what Arthur was aiming at here, he might just like the sound of the bolt action. Three star wild boar. Arthur does miss his pork chops. Also horses and deluxe bath and his favorite hat.
running through the jungle looking for adventure, aliens, buried treasure, a stranger who needs to be escorted home, anything. We have to make up our own stories here. Much like the Sandini graveyard, Guarma is an exquisitely beautiful location with nothing to do. However, that won't stop us from exploring it thoroughly. And we can get a decent view of Aquas Dulces from up here. There it is, so close, taunting us. We will get over there soon enough. Have patience and little faith. Let's fire a shot over their direction just to say hello. Also, Arthur just noticed that we still have a hunting knife. Perhaps we can stealth our way onto the beach. Arthur has a plan, and it's a good one. He really wants to see the ocean. Awkward, that was embarrassing. Pretend that didn't happen, and let's move on. I suppose we shouldn't be running whilst holding a hunting knife, kinda like running with scissors. However, Arthur likes to live dangerously. Cross the river over here and make our approach. This should work. Arthur can see the beach. Arthur can smell the beach. The beach is tantalizingly close. There are two sentries on the other side of this beach cabana. We can take out at least one. Or perhaps we can sneak past. So far, so good. And the map, Arroyo de la Vibora, Snake Ravine. More like Bird Ravine. However, we are technically outside of the red zone. We should be okay. There's the beach. Arthur is going for a swim. John is jealous. And that is just unfair. I hope 
you enjoyed watching this commentary as much as I enjoyed making it. Regrettably, there isn't that much to do in Guarma in Chapter 5. However, Arthur really wanted to show you that snake. Some of you really like snakes. On Tuesdays, we Tahiti. I'll see you in Part 3. This video is sponsored by Super Antonio Part 2, my second channel that features more podcast-related content, in addition to gameplay from all of the other video games I enjoy. You can find the link at the bottom of the channel page or in the description of this video. Like and subscribe for short stories, book, movie, and TV reviews, and also commentaries where I talk about whatever is interesting me at the moment. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I have Appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content. We shall meet again. Further on down the trail. Look! And Arthur? No crazy business. I've given that up.